For the life of me, I physically could not hold my head high. Been down, tried it for so long, I couldn't even see the sky. That's before I got glasses. I've been told the grass is always greener on the other side. I felt like somebody lied to me just to keep me quiet, making excuses why good days always pass me by. Thick scanned on the outside, but I was internally beat. Before I could leave the house, I already tasted the blood of defeat. From an early age, it got to the point where I would rage when I was mad with it. Given to me by supposedly trusted folks who constantly tried to coax me to accept mind games and gaslit rhetoric they spoke. I knew what time it was for years I tried to get away to find these grasses they spoke of, constantly on the lookout for better days. Unfortunately, I had to wait. I knew I could get better if I was left alone for a bit. No one to nitpick or try to reserve the status quo they wanted me to fit. Age 17, I got my chance to advance into something greater. The fight inside of me had been very strong. I longed to become something somewhere I knew where I belonged. So I set out as far from home as I could go. My first lesson was to teach myself to say no. At all costs, mm-hmm. sparing no feelings, I was no, out for self-preservation. No, I practiced my rebuttals and listened for other parties' no. attempts at manipulation. I, I learned to shut it down and became quite good at it. Bye. Brought my lesson home and tested it. Hush whispers of keeping me from leaving again. Had to be careful the room I read it. I knew something was wrong. I sought out a psychiatrist. Took some tests, got some medicine for anxiety, depression. I vetted everyone close to me. I could see my environment was toxic. When I was at home, I took refuge in poetry, music, and sharpened my logic. They couldn't start with me anymore. I could feel myself grow taller. Mentally, I had my chance to grow while attempts to manipulate began to falter. Best believe they got stronger and more blatant. I curved them. They couldn't hold me. They had gotten complacent. I learned to keep a way out. I utilized my space when at home. I learned to rage on them eloquently. Behind my back, they kept a hushed tone. But I could still hear them. They harbored disdain for me. I knew it all along. The worst was when they said they prayed for me. Lesson two, I learned to walk tall physically. I'd been a mouse in the corner so long, but I knew I wasn't meant to be. I looked people in the eye as they passed me. I questioned all attempts to harass me. Left people in the dust to think on their best way to approach me. My flow was nasty. That's how I started to become the person you see. Sometimes it takes a person to completely challenge their status. Had no choice to believe in myself and issue everything and everyone else. Take it apart, break issues down, and see how others can take hold of yourself. If you let them, knowing they're wrong deep down. They'll try to conquer you, be glad they did, hound you and wonder why you don't come around. Tell you you sound crazy and try to lure you back in. Play dumb victim like they don't know what they did. Get rid of them quick, they'll drag you down in the dirt. When you call them out, they will act hurt. These people are dangerous, they seek to be above you. Lesson number three, no matter how hard you try, you cannot make these people love you.